Okay, now let's just try for the combo box. First, we go to developer tab, then click insert, look for combo box. Okay, then we insert. Okay, if let's say we want to design this combo box according to our preference, we go to properties. If let's say we want to change the color, if let's say we want to change the font or the font size, okay. If let's say we want to create a drop list in this combo box, we double click on it. Okay, then we type with. Okay, we have to check this combo box is on which sheet. Since it's on which uh, sheet 2, then we type sheet 2 dot combo box. Okay, then we enter. Okay, to add option, we have to uh, key in dot add item. Okay, then for the first option, yes, sure. Okay, then for the second option, okay, repeat the same process dot add item. Yes, no problem. Okay, then we repeat the same process for the third and so on. After we finish entering all the items, we press and we key in and with. Okay, then to run the code, we unclick the design mode. Okay, then we click. If nothing show here, maybe we use a wrong function. Okay, maybe we can change to key up. Okay, then we copy the code. Then paste here. Okay, remember to delete this one. Okay, then we click. Okay, so the code is already turned out here. However, this code or this option may not turn out automatically every time we open the workbook. Okay, let me show you. Close. Okay, save. Okay, I reopen and see. Okay, as you can see, nothing here. Okay, this is actually one of the D advantage of using the combo box okay to overcome this problem i will suggest that instead of placing the or uh, make a code on this sheet okay we delete it we insert a module okay we insert a module then we create our own code okay sub at list Okay, then we paste here. Okay, to ensure that this code will run automatically every time the workbook is open, then we go to this workbook. Okay, under the general here, we change to workbook. As you can see, this one turned to open. Okay, then we call the module that we want. Okay, at least. So, at least. Okay, and we save. Okay, close. Okay, we try try again. Okay, so the code or the list will automatically turn up. Besides, if let's say we have a list here and then we want to make use of this list instead of add in the item one by one, something like this, we actually can make use of the list. Okay, we can make use of the for loop. Okay, for i equal to 1. Okay, 2. Okay, since we have 4 options here, so it will be from 1 to 4. Okay, instead of entering the option 1 by 1, I will call the cell with the option that I want. Okay, the row index. Okay, as you can see, the row it's actually from the first row to the second to the third and to the fourth. So I will make it as i. Okay, so means that when i is 1, so I will call the first row. Then when i is 2, I will call the second row and so on. Okay, then for the column index, it's already fixed at n. So it will be n here. Okay, after that, we don't need this anymore. Okay, will be next i. So when i call the first one, then next will be 2, so call the 2, then next will be 3, and so on. Okay? Okay, now close. Okay, save. 
close okay we try again open okay as you can see the list will automatically turn off 